China's helicopter industry is making rapid progress to become a global power. Not only in the military field, China also pays great attention to promoting the development of the civil helicopter field to meet the commercial needs. China is the second largest in the world and one of the fastest growing civil aviation markets in the world. In the next decade, the potential demand for the Chinese market could reach 1,000 helicopters. Industry experts predict that the number of helicopters in China will increase by more than 30% every year over the next decade. As early as the late 1980s, China began developing the Z-11 light utility helicopter project. The project was implemented by Changhe Aircraft Industries Corporation and had its first flight in December 1994. The test flights were then completed in 2000. The Changhe have claimed that the J-11 is the first indigenous design helicopter in China. However, there are reports that the development of C-11 was largely based on a helicopter AS-350 Acura. Indeed, on the outside, the machine is very similar to the helicopter AS-350 Acura. The helicopter has three bladed main rotor, a conventional tail rotor, a horizontal stabilizer, lower and upper vertical stabilizers, and a skid-type landing gear. The cockpit for a pilot is covered by a large windscreen, giving great visibility. The cockpit has two seats placed on either side. The crew can be one or two pilots. Access to the cockpit is through two car style doors along both sides of the fuselage. The passenger compartment can accommodate six people, installed right behind the cockpit. China's Z-11 has a fuselage length of 11.24 meters, a width of 1.8 meters, and a height of 3.14 meters. Its empty weight is 1,253 kilograms, while the maximum takeoff weight is 2,200 kilograms. Z-11 is equipped with a single Chinese-made Liming WZ-8 turboshaft engine, developing 680 horsepower. The helicopter was designed to reach a maximum speed of 258 km per hour, a service ceiling of 5,270 meters, a range of 660 km, and continuous endurance of 3.9 hours. In addition to targeting the civilian market, the Z-11 also has armed version to meet the requirements of military and paramilitary users. Z-11 can perform battlefield surveillance and reconnaissance, ground attack, and medical evacuation roles. The armed versions have been equipped with additional wing stops to my weapons. It can carry anti-tank guided missiles, rockets, and machine guns. On the CZ-11W version, the helicopter is fitted with a targeting sensor turret and can carry four Chinese SJ-8 anti-tank missiles. On the Z-11WB version, a new attack and reconnaissance variant based on the AC-311 with a new EO ball. The cockpit has been redesigned, integrating Mantar functional cockpit displays. The highly integrated avionics system aboard the cockpit reduces the workload of the pilots the Z-11WB has additional pylons on either side of the fuselage to carry missiles and bombs. It is capable of carrying a quad launcher for TLA-2 air-to-ground missiles. It is intended to engage small land and naval platforms, as well as personnel. Another weapons can be equipped includes the Norinco 40mm LZ-3 automatic grenade launcher. 7.62mm CSRM-12 6-barrel minigun and a SW-6 air launch tactical UAV. Its drones include ground support, assault, battlefield reconnaissance, command, counter-terrorism, anti-drug, anti-smuggling, and other missions. China's helicopter industry is gearing up to become a global power. 
Military experts said that the introduction of the G-11 Feral to cap of China's native helicopter division made a significant breakthrough in the history of developing Chinese helicopters. My video of Changhe G-11 helicopter ends here. Thank you for watching. You find this video interesting? Please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.